Hey guys, it's Amanda from Amanda Loves Animals and I'm going to be doing a highly requested video on how I make houses with these terracotta pots. I find them to be super easy to clean and super cheap. When you go to the store like PetSmart or Petco and you try to buy like fish decorations, they they run about 20 to 40 bucks and they are super hard to clean with all those little crevices. I find that these are nicer, they're super easy to clean. Um, you can do a lot with them, you can use aquarium glue, stick them together, you can break them like I'm going to show you how to do. And they are super cheap. These were each $1.28 and this was $1.79. The most I've seen them for like a really big one is like three bucks. And I'm talking like huge. And they have like 99 cent ones, everything. And you can just replace them easily. When they get dirty, you just get new ones. So these are going in Riley's tank. And if you don't know who Riley is, that is my new beta fish. And you should totally check out that video. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to hollow these out. Let's get started. The supplies you're going to need is a hammer, sandpaper, your pots of course a hard table i'm in my dad's off um, my dad's workshop so some sort of hard table and um, i put paper towels into this so that it doesn't get everywhere also you kind of want to buy like an extra pot or something just in case because i often mess this up and i break it so that's a pain in the butt the only issue with this is that i can't really show you what i'm doing like, i don't have a tripod and i've tried to have things like hold it up but it's just gonna fall and i'm also afraid that this is gonna fall too but um, you're just going to start with like the middle where the hole is and you're going to hit it with the side of this. And you're going to start hearing it breaking but really only stay close to that middle circle until you leave about half an inch towards the edge like this. So, um, can you see that? So this part I'm going to, so you don't want to go any further than that but you're just going to want to take a little more off right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to like lightly tap it, but tap it so that you're hitting it down, not like this. Like you want to like, if this is the cup, you want to like grease it so that you're only taking up little chunks. I'm only using the very tip of the hammer. I'm not using the whole face of it, just the tip. And you want to just lightly expand the edges that you already have. I usually just do like little tiny taps, nothing really heavy. You're just knocking off those edges, but trying to get as close as you can to that little line on the edge, the rim, but you don't want to break it. Now this is um, a really good opening. It's not like super close to the edge, like there's a little more room, but I don't want to risk that in breaking it. So now what I'm going to do is take my sandpaper and I'm going to roll it and I'm going to stick it inside the thing and I'm just going to twist it. And you really want to make sure you use sandpaper um, because you do not want rough edges on this. So now these are all sanded and they are super smooth and I've got four great hides for my fish to swim through. You can do these for any size. You can make them really big, really small, depending on your fish size. You can glue them together, stack them on top. I really love using them. I think they're um, really easy to clean and super Do not, do not, do not forget to rinse these off because they do have the dust from all that hammering. So make sure they are clean before you put them in your tank. So if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Also send me pictures on Instagram of your tanks with these pots in them. And you also may have noticed these little things have started to pop up. So two of them, one of them is a recent upload, the other one's a related video, and the middle one is the subscribe button so you can uh, check out other videos on my channel. Also there are always links in the description to my Instagram, my Twitter, and my personal channel. So I really suggest you subscribe to my personal channel while I do uh, challenges, poetry, makeup videos, tutorials, DIYs, all that kind of stuff. You should really subscribe to that channel too. I will see you in my next video. Bye!